Scientists call stem cell therapy one of the most promising fields of medicine with high hopes of repairing and regenerating damaged tissue and much more. Yeah, but government regulators say some companies are cashing in on those lofty dreams and selling unproven and very expensive treatments. Our Fox 5 senior reporter Dale Russell has this report now. Dale, very interesting stuff. It is, Ross. Uh, sometimes called master cells, stem cells are and they hold the promise of repairing a wide range of conditions. But we're in the early stages now, and we saw stem cell ads all over town and went undercover at one local clinic stem cell seminar to just see it for ourselves. I can get you to sign. Okay. Right there for me. Step right up and sign on the dotted line. Soon you'll hear about the wonders of amniotic stem cell therapy at this Superior Healthcare Group seminar. Inside the small conference room, a handful of people, some in pain, wait for answers. While waiting, a slideshow warned, no audio or video recording allowed. But our undercover eye team was there to hear the stem cell sales pitch of this man. Hi, my name is Dr. Atley Wampler. Atley Wampler is a chiropractor. This is him in a promotional video for Superior Healthcare Group. The stem cells can regenerate the damage done by uneven wear and tear. This is similar to what our undercover eye team heard him say. Dr. Wampler vowed live stem cells can help reverse osteoarthritis, some heart and lung disease, sometimes even Parkinson's and cancer. He says young stem cells are the best. Superior Healthcare uses live stem cells taken from a donor mother's amniotic fluid during childbirth that will regenerate tissue and organs. Did we hear that right? You said that you were using live stem cells and injections into patients? The type of stem cells that we use, yes. All for $5,600 an injection, insurance won't cover it. But there's a big problem with the live stem cell treatment he promises. And there are no living stem cells in these products. Orthopedic doctors Robbie Bowers and Chris Williams are critics of the promises made by Superior Healthcare and others about their off-the-shelf live amniotic stem cell treatments. They believe in stem cell therapy, but they use an FDA-allowed procedure that takes stem cells from a patient's own body and injects them back into that same patient to treat pain. Both are members of the Stem Cell Ethics Consortium, warning consumers about fraudulent stem cell treatments. They say independent nonprofit testing of several amniotic products, like ones used by Superior Healthcare, shows the products don't contain live stem cells. It's just infuriating from a medicine standpoint because you're misleading patients. As for all those claims about regenerating joints and spines, tissue and organs, I consider it the biggest scam of the in the of the 20, 20th century in in the medical community at this point in time. Though both doctors say the so-called stem Stem cell products don't actually contain live stem cells. It does contain some growth factors that can help with the patient's pain. But there's one more problem. The FDA has strict rules on the use of live stem cells. And if these off-the-shelf products actually had live stem cells, the doctors say the FDA would consider that to be a drug and would require extensive clinical testing before using it on patients. Number one, they don't have live cells. And number two, if they did have live cells, then they would not be FDA compliant or, or FDA approved by any means. So how are you doing this if the FDA hasn't approved it? They're stored in nitrogen, sir. Th that's not the question. The question is, how are you doing this? I don't do these procedures. But I you're just selling these it. procedures. And though Dr. Wampler touted amniotic stem cell therapy during the seminar, and Superior Healthcare Group handed out this flyer praising its amniotic stem cell therapy at an earlier seminar, Superior Healthcare Group wrote us to say the amniotic tissue products are not where the stem cells are derived. They also wrote that they offer various methods of regenerative therapies that include stem cell bone marrow injections. What did they tell you about the stem cell? Oh, that it was gonna fix everything. Cheryl Armstrong attended one of Superior Healthcare Group's free seminars. She agreed to pay $17,000 for a two-part procedure to treat back and hip pain. She signed this human amniotic fluid consent form for stem cell injections. 
Later, she was supposed to get additional stem cell injections, this time from her own bone marrow. I think they're relying on the hoopla they do at these seminars. They get people who are really desperately hurting and in pain, and they're looking for hope to fix it. After multiple amniotic fluid injections in her back, she complained to the FDA that she suffered from burning and tingling in my hands. The FDA told her it has not approved any stem cell-based products for the treatment of back pain. The FDA list for approved stem cell products does not include the amniotic fluid she received. They're taking advantage of people, that they're hurting people, and they're lining their pockets full of money. She was unhappy with the first treatment and canceled the bone marrow treatment. She demanded her money back. Superior Healthcare wrote her lawyer that she got an injection of amniotic growth factors to prepare the area for that later bone marrow stem cell procedure. The clinic doctor wrote, not receiving the second phase of therapy certainly can affect outcomes. They refunded $2,900 and waived the rest of what she owed. For her, she says the injections didn't help her pain. All she got was a broken promise. I haven't noticed anything any different. The only thing I've noticed is the side effects, and they're horrible. But there's more. Tonight at 10, we continue our examination of the stem cell controversy with a close look at mysterious cases where patients went blind after stem cell eye therapy. That'll be coming up tonight at 10. Russ, Sinead. All right. We'll see you then, Dale.